Hey guys and welcome to another WX Python tutorial here on the Quadrus Legacy channel. So in this video we're going to take a look at something interesting, okay? We're going to take a look at the bitmap button widget, okay? It's kind of simple. The idea behind it is simple. That is just an image that acts like a button, okay? You know like a button, it just has some text on it, okay? And it has some borders and you click on that and voila, your function triggers. So the bitmap button is the same thing, but it has no text, rather it has uh, an image, okay, uh, and more specifically, it has a, a bitmap image, you know, the BMP file type, okay. So, the thing is that there's something I need to tell you guys actually about the bitmap button. It's kind of outdated because in one of WX Python's newer versions, okay, it's been a long time since it's released, but in one of its versions, what happened is that they actually updated the normal button, the WX dot button so that you have the ability to, to display images on those as, as, as well. And you can also display both text and images on those, so it's kind of a double bonus. So, uh, you guys aren't limited to just the bitmap button, okay? But if you guys are using an older version of WX Python or you just want to use the bitmap button, then sure. Okay, so let's go, let's go ahead and actually create the bitmap button now. Okay, so one thing is that I mentioned that we need images, right, for the uh, bitmap buttons. So I actually have them saved with me. I actually happen to have some BMP files with me. I'll put these up for download in the description below, so don't worry. Otherwise, you can even use normal images. Let me show you how. You can do something like this, okay, open icon, okay, is equal to wx.bitmap. This is a function or a class, basically, a class constructor. And over here, you just write the file path of the image, okay? I happen to have a BMP file called save.bmp in this directory, so I don't need to do anything, okay? So, yeah, okay? But regardless of whether you're using a BMP file or not, okay, you need to use this format, okay? You can use a .png file as well, and it should convert it to a BMP file, okay? So there's no need to worry too much about this kind of stuff, okay? Uh, let's just go ahead and duplicate this, call this save icon, okay, and this is actually supposed to be open, okay, open. So, yeah, now what I'm, what I'm going to do now is come down here and create two bitmap buttons, okay. I have two images, one for the open icon and one for the save icon, okay. So I'm going to come down here and create one bitmap button using each one of them. So the first one can be uh, bit1 is equal to wx.bitmap button, okay, and self.panel as the parent, bitmap is equal to open icon, what, what am I doing, okay, uh, and by the way, you could just directly take this and put this in here, okay, it, there is no issue, okay. Uh, but I'm just doing this to make things simpler for you guys, to break it down into steps, okay? So, yeah. And the position can be something like 20 by 20, okay? And let's create the next one. Is equal to bitmap button, okay? Self.panel bitmap is equal to save icon. Pause is equal to 100. Or let's just go by 20 and 100, okay? Pretty simple. Now let's go ahead and run this. Okay, here we go. Looks That looks pretty cool if you ask me, okay? These are just icons, so they're kind of small, okay? But I don't think there's actually any limit on the size, okay? So I can click on this, okay? And nothing's happening, of course. Of course nothing's happening is because I didn't trigger them to any functions. I didn't bind them to any functions. So let me just quickly show you how, okay? I'm pretty sure you guys already know this, but I'm just going to quickly demonstrate. Save, self, e, okay? This is the format, print, save, function, triggered. Okay, I'm going to come, come over here, and the bit2 uh, bitmap is the save one, right? So let's just go ahead and bind this one. I'll use the bind function. Then I'll bind it to the wx event underscore button. And yes, this has the same event as the regular button, okay? It doesn't have a special bitmap button event, okay? And then I'll bind this to self.save. Now let's run this and let's click on the save button and we have this printed out, 
okay so pretty cool there isn't much to this really if you guys want to learn how to use bitmap buttons on regular buttons then go ahead and check out my video in the description below okay it'll it'll take you to the video where i describe the regular button okay and its uses so you can go ahead and watch that Okay, otherwise we're pretty much done here and with this we've completed our widget series, okay? We've done we've done like 14 widgets so far. Pretty cool. And I hope you guys um, you know, follow up, okay? Cuz we have a layout series coming out soon where we discuss a bunch of sizers, you know, the box sizer, the grid sizer, the flexed grid sizer, stuff like that. It's pretty important to uh, you know the layout and managing widgets and stuff okay so be sure to check it out you guys cannot complete uh, you, can, you guys can't say that I'm good at WX Python without knowing how to you know lay out your widgets properly without knowing how to use sizers okay so yeah pretty much we're done here so I'll see you guys in hopefully a later video bye then